Vin Baker was the guy that had a great start to his NBA career. He was a four-time NBA All-Star and averaged 21 points and 10 rebounds a game at one point in his career. The future was bright and he even won a gold medal on the 2000 Olympic team. But that's where things took a turn for Vin because he got addicted to alcohol and that would soon take over not only his career but his life. So before we take a look at where he's at now, we'll take a quick look at the events that led him to where he is today. But that is after we give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, SeatGeek. They're the best place anywhere to get tickets to sport events, concerts, or Broadway shows. They're the best because they aggregate tickets from all over the web to make buying simple and to find you the best deal. But not only that, they score each deal to let you know how good it is. Green's good and red is bad. SeatGeek even shows you a view from your seat inside the arena. So go check it out by using the link in the description and then use my code SWEAT with two T's for $20 off your first order. Now back into the video. Vin Baker grew up playing basketball in Connecticut, but he wasn't the best player in high school, so no big name schools offered him any scholarships. So instead, he ended up playing for the Hartford Hawks at the University of Hartford. But he only averaged four points a game as a freshman, but he quickly got better every year. In his sophomore season is when he earned himself a spot as a starter, where he averaged 19 points and 10 rebounds a game, 27 and 10 as a junior, and 28 a game as a senior. He got the big time stats, but he could never translate that over to wins. His team never made the NCAA tournament, and in their best season they only went 14 and 14. But his great scoring ability still got him drafted 8th overall by the Milwaukee Bucks in the 1993 NBA Draft. And his time on the Bucks was when he played the best of his career. He averaged 21 points and 10 rebounds a game for two seasons and played every single game of his first three years in the league, including a game where he played while he was high. He talked about how on January 5th, 1996, himself and a few teammates were at Glenn Robinson's house for haircuts. Vin Baker and Glenn started smoking marijuana together and right after that Vin got worried about being able to play in their game later that night. And shockingly, it was the best game he'd ever played. He scored 41 points, but that was where the problem started. Realizing that he could play while he was high in a game, and it didn't at all hurt his abilities, made him not scared to do it again. So by the next season, he was playing for the Seattle Supersonics and drinking before games more often than not. There was times that his teammates smelled alcohol on him in practice, but since he was still averaging 15 and 7, that didn't stop the Supersonics from offering him a 7 year, $86 million contract. Vin Baker would eventually get traded to the Celtics in 2002, and during a physical, the doctor found signs of liver damage from alcoholism. But Vin lied and said he had no issues with drinking. But in his first season in Boston, those issues showed. Because he was no longer a starter, his playing time fell from 31 minutes a game from the season before to now 18 and he eventually got suspended when the Celtics staff smelt alcohol on him during practice. They tried to put him in rehab and he looked like he was going to get better, but he'd always go back to drinking. He even said that at one point he started to drink Listerine so nobody would smell it on him. But once they caught on, the Celtics were eventually forced to terminate his contract. Over the next four seasons, until 2006, Baker would play for the Knicks, Rockets, and the Clippers for only a total of 52 games and each team still couldn't get him to get rid of his drinking habits. So eventually his time on the Clippers was the last time he was ever seen on an NBA court. So where is he now? Well, in 2006, after realizing that no NBA team wanted him anymore, he was at rock bottom. And it got worse in 2007 when he was arrested for a DUI. And at this time, he was in the process of losing all of his $100 million that he made throughout his NBA career due to bad business investments, giving away too much money to family and friends, and thanks to his alcohol problem. Proof of that came in 2008 when his restaurant, Vinny's Saybrook Fish House, and his $2.3 million home both got foreclosed. Then fast forward to 2012, where Vin was hired as an assistant coach for a local middle school basketball team. It was the first time since 2006 that he was involved with basketball again. He was able to do this because in April of 2011, Vin Baker finally started to get sober again. He tried before, but this time he realized something had to change. So he said this wasn't like his past 6 attempts, it was different this time because he realized he needed to get back to a place where he could provide for his family and the coaching was his start. In 2014, Vin was named as part of the team assembled by Dennis Rodman to fly over to North Korea to play a basketball game for Kim Jong-un in celebration of his birthday. 
And then the next year in 2015 is when it came out publicly that he had officially blown through all of the $100 million he earned throughout his career. So this was when he made an important phone call to his former boss, Howard Schultz, who was the owner of the Seattle Supersonics when Vin played there, but was now the CEO of Starbucks. He was extremely nervous, but when he called, Howard was so excited to hear from him. So that relieved a lot of the stress. And then together they came up with a plan to make Vin Baker the manager of his own Starbucks store. He said he didn't mind the work that it took, but some days were tough thinking about how he ended up there. But it was okay, because later on, he said that it was that job at Starbucks that finally gave him hope again. And at this time, he said that people on the outside looking in were thinking how he wasted everything, but Vin Baker said for him, personally, he was 43 and had four kids, and that he didn't have time to feel bad for himself, he had to pick up the pieces and be a father and show that he could bounce back. And that's exactly what he did. Because just two years later, he was done working at Starbucks, and in 2017, he was brought on as an anchor for the Milwaukee Bucks. And now today, in 2018, he's an assistant coach for the Bucks. So today, he spends his time with the team, training and supporting his son Vin Baker Jr., who's playing at Boston College, and running his Bouncing Back Foundation. It was a foundation created to help people who were struggling with addiction of any kind, but mainly alcoholism. So it was great to see that Vin made it back on track and that he's completely turned his life back around. But it is crazy that it took him 15 years. He had been struggling with alcohol addiction ever since he was 25 years old and now today he's 46. But Baker doesn't think of it like that. He said, the beautiful thing is, especially in recovery, sometimes you gotta go through something epic to understand just how good life is and living life on life's terms. If I didn't go through what I went through, I wouldn't appreciate my family and all the small things in life today. So yeah, it's great to see that he's only looking at things as a positive moving forward. And that he's on the right path again. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And definitely comment who you want to see, where they are now next, and I'll catch you next video.